The local all share index is down near a three week low in line with global peers ahead of the much anticipated Fed rate announcement, with market analysts largely expecting a 75 basis point increase. Michael Trahern is portfolio manager at Vestact with us now. As always, Mark, Michael, to have a look at where we are. Welcome back to Daytime Update. Just on that point, an overview, always a good place to begin when you look at the local index and how it's doing today. Yeah, I think uh, global uh, asset markets at the moment are sort of in a wait-and-see mode to see what the Fed does this evening. It's 8 o'clock our time. Um, but generally, the mood is rather sour. Uh, as you know, to JC, all shares down, uh, currently down 0.6%, um, and uh, not looking pretty. We're expecting announcements domestically, but that U.S. Fed decision is something that investors are watching with particular uh, keen interest, shall we say. How much of an impact are we expecting to see there? Uh, I expect uh, wide-ranging or wide-reaching impact from that announcement, and particularly the commentary around the announcement. Uh, you'll see uh, stock markets move, you'll see currency markets move, you'll see the gold market move, you'll see the oil market move. Um, the U.S. is so central to the global financial system, uh, their changes in interest rates and the forecasts of their interest rate changes uh, have ripple effects across the global economy. So uh, expect quite a volatile evening uh, as we get closer and after that uh, announcement this evening. Mm. And South Africa's annual inflation edged lower in August to 7.6%. Uh, that was from 7.8% back in July. Let's look at the factors that contributed to that decline and what the data tells us then about the interest rate in the perhaps short and even more medium term. Yeah, so it's, as you said, we, we were at 7.8% the previous month. We're now 7.6%. Uh, that's still above the, the Reserve Bank's target so upper end of, of 6%. Uh, so inflation is still running hot. Um, luckily, it is slowing, so that does help. Um, but unfortunately, the two areas that we're seeing the highest level of inflation is in fuel and transport and uh, in food prices. Um, and those are the areas where the poor can't get around. Uh, you know, transport's a big cost to theirs, uh, and so is food, and those are the two areas where we're seeing high levels of inflation. Uh, thankfully, as we look at it now, uh, oil prices have been dropping for the last two or three months, uh, so we can expect uh, lower fuel prices uh, up ahead. Um, but tomorrow we're expecting the Reserve Bank to, to hike interest rates uh, quite a bit, and potentially forecast that they're going to keep hiking, and that's uh, not good for the economy and not good for anyone who owes mm. money. Lastly, Sassman published an annual results set, uh, well, published for the year, ended in June, at the end of June, as well as a cash dividend. How have they fared in the period under review? Uh, mixed results from Sassman. The uh, share price didn't move much uh, on the news this morning. Uh, they said that their profits were up 18%, so that's not bad, but coming off the lowish base. Uh, the, the business banking division saw good growth, but their asset finance, which is mostly for, for photocopiers, um, and their wealth division both uh, went backwards compared to previous year. Um, and as a result, they, they're paying out a dividend, but lower than they did uh, the year before. So a bit of a mixed bag for the, for the bank. Michael Trahan, always good to speak to you. Thank you.